Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this tree, add some color to the bark and apply leaves using the scatter brush we've created before. First we will create this art brush. Open a new document, select the ellipse tool, get rid of the stroke and leave the fill black. Now draw a narrow ellipse. Using the direct selection tool, select the anchor point on the right and drag it to the right. Switch to the convert anchor point tool and let's make this corner a little sharper. Then switch to the selection tool and bring the top edge down. Now drag it into the brushes window. Select the art brush and click OK. Change the minimum width to 7%, scale proportionally, leave the stroke direction from left to right and change the colorization method to tints. Now you can delete this shape. And here is our new brush. Click on it to select it, then get rid of the fill and select the brush tool. Now we are ready to draw a tree. First create lots of branches. Make sure they are connected together. I'm going to speed up this part, but you should take as much time as you need. When you are done, select everything, then go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Now open the Pathfinder window and select Unite. Switch to the Direct Selection tool and click away to deselect. In the next several steps we will delete, add or move some anchor points to make our tree look like this. First, let's select the bottom part of our tree and we will reduce the number of anchor points in that area. To do that, go to Object, Path and choose Simplify. Turn on the Preview box and depending on your artwork, adjust the curve precision. I'm going to set mine to 95%. Let's zoom in on this part and make this trunk a little thicker. Move some anchor points. Adjust the curves if needed. Add a broken branch for example. Move several anchor points at once. Delete ones you don't need and work patiently until you are satisfied with the end result. You should be very familiar with using the pen tool. If you would like to learn more about this tool and how to use it, please see my previous tutorials. I have included a link to them in the description below. I'm going to speed up this part just for the sake of time. And we are done. In the next several steps, we will isolate the trunk and big branches from the small branches that we want to apply leaves to. First, let's duplicate this layer as we will need it later. Just click on it, hold and drag it to the create a new layer icon. Now lock it and turn off its visibility. Next, select the eraser tool. You can increase or decrease its size by using the right or left bracket keys on your keyboard. And now draw over the parts that you would like to erase.
When you are done, select everything and make sure that the fill and the stroke are set to none. Now we will use the leaf scatter brush that we've created in the previous tutorial. I will include a link to it in the description below. First, open the brushes window and select the leaf scatter brush. This will automatically apply the brush to all the strokes. Let's turn on the visibility of the tree layer. With the top layer still selected, choose any color you would like to apply to the leaves. Now single click on the brush to rearrange the leaves or double click on it to open the dialog box where you can adjust the settings. When you are done, click OK and apply two strokes. If you wish, you can duplicate the leaves layer, add a different color and adjust the settings. You can repeat the same process one more time. Try to shift the layer's position, choose different settings and see what works for you. Let's lock all the layers with the leaves and turn off their visibility. Now unlock the layer with the tree and select it. In the last step we'll create this effect. With the bottom layer selected, let's zoom in on this part. Now select the knife tool and we'll make lots of cuts along the edges of the branches. Those will be the areas where we will apply different shades of a chosen color. When you are done, make sure the fill is on top, now select everything and apply dark brown color to it. Next, switch to the direct selection tool and select the middle part of a trunk. Then open the transparency window, set the blending mode to multiply and change the opacity to about 88%. Now select one of the cut shapes and change the blending mode to screen. Let's turn the opacity to about 70%. You can experiment with different blending modes and opacity to see what you like. Let's zoom in. Next, using the eyedropper tool, select the highlighted area on the left to get a color sample. Now press and hold down the ALT key and click on some of the shapes to apply it. If you make a wrong cut, you can always select everything, go to the Shape Builder tool, connect some shapes together and then make a new cut. Finally, turn the visibility of the leaves layer back on and if needed, adjust them even more. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.